Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Argentina, where last time I went broke. Flat out broke. Like, not just broke, broke, but flat out broke. That means I'm not sure how good my army is anymore. I'm pretty sure we're basically just Swiss cheese. Which is really bad, because we just saw a Colombian force just arrive. Ah, oh, man, that makes me kind of annoyed. Okay, but anyways, what I'm going to go do is go kill this Colombian force, because we really do need to kill this Colombian force. And exile, you know, make sure that Columbia is not a big threat to us as we slowly start to gain massive amounts of, inform you know, war score from just doing random regions. Okay, and let's see, let's see, are all of our troops in position? Okay, all of our troops are in position. We're ready to go start conquesting this. And yeah, last episode I made one of the dumbest decisions of my life. I accidentally, like... Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Yes, 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 yes! Oh! Yes! Oh, thank goodness. Uh, we will keep everything we got. Fine. Okay. Um, am I still a great power, technically? Because the open door. Yay! Uh, Unite La Plata. Dang it! Oh, 50 prestige. Hmm. Rats. I probably still count it as a great power, but no. Oh my goodness. Okay, so yeah, free state, uh, colonial province. Yep, yep, everything, yep. Uh, everything we open. Okay, and now I am in really bad debt. Okay, gonna go hunt down all these rebels. What do you guys even want right now? I, I don't even get what you guys want. Like, I'm pretty free nation, but. Is that just not enough for you guys? You guys just need to revolt against me? Uh, at the perfect time, too. Seriously, this is at the perfect exact point you can revolt against me. So, yeah, everyone, for a brief second of time, I was a... I was in charge of everything, and I was a great power, but... What happened was I got too greedy, and... Yep. <laughs> uh... Although, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to make all this up. Right now, because I'm... Because... Because my nation is not paying anything to anyone else. Um... We just have to gain back all of our prestige, which... We should be able to get in a couple good amount of conquest. Uh, but... Yeah, that really does stink. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna keep on high maintenance for a little bit for our stuff. Um, we open a lot of our factories so that we have our people producing stuff for us um yeah I mean the bank a lot of these nations a lot of these countries could declare war on me right now I'm pretty sure they're not because they're just not going to and once our country becomes a much better financial situation and our country's soldiers are much stronger ah man these guys aren't saying anything. these guys are strong though yeah, bankruptcy. Oh, yeah, bankruptcy for this game. Uh, shoot. What? I didn't decline. What? I didn't. Okay. Hopefully, that won't count against me because I did not decline. Okay, it did not count against me. Good. Okay. All right. There's only one army I believe my, my soldiers can't take. Um... Let's see, let's combine our soldiers right here. Combine both these armies into one gigantic death stack. That's probably not the best for managing this big of a crowd, but it's the best we have right now, basically. Um, because we just, we're having major difficulties right now. Like, yeah, we can begin assimilation. That's a good place to begin assimilation. Okay. Seriously, if we could get all this assimilated. By the way, how much is our population now? It's 2.3, yes! Okay, and how much is our Brazilian? Our Brazilians are probably making a good point of our population. Yes, 70%! Brazilians are like our new minority people. Okay, we're gonna kill off this army. Oh! Shoot. They just got like a major reinforcement right when I was thinking. Okay, and now they're gonna die. Hopefully. Hopefully they're gonna die. Hopefully. Wow, these guys are getting major reinforcements by everyone. But luckily my troops are not dying. Wow. They killed off so many rebellions right there. 
Okay, and I, I still don't even know what the Jacobsons want. Like, I would accept the rebels' demands if they actually knew what they wanted. They're just like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, we, we're gonna revolt. We hate you. Why do you hate me? We don't know. It's like, okay. Okay, why do you hate me? I, I don't even know. <sighs> stupidity, I swear. I, I just swear on the, on the price of all this. It's like stupidity. Stupidity up the wazoo. Alright, we're gonna start trying to get into uh, a million a million debts. We have a insane amount of debt. <clears throat> what the? Okay, we're gonna have to wait. We're just gonna have to wait until the Jacobsons unsiege us, because literally we can't. We we can't do anything against them. Our troops are not replenishing fast enough. We're not getting our state administration fast enough. Our soldiers are basically twin sauce. Um, yeah, and the rebels are going to basically siege my land, and they've overwhelmed me, which doesn't make any sense because we still should have. Yeah. Okay, but the good thing is... Okay, move. Yeah, this might... <laughs> this might... This might be where my downfall is, so I'm just gonna save it right here. Oh, man. it's It's been a little bit since I last saved it, but... Because I like to play these all in one sitting. So this might be the flaw that... The catalyst that sent me over the edge. Uh, Republican Guard is what my new government's gonna be. Which makes no sense, I'm already a diplomatic nation! And there shouldn't- okay, that's 300k rebels. I only have a- that, that's way too many rebels. I only have a population of three- this doesn't make any sense. Oh my goodness, so, when this is all over, people, I'm gonna wait for the major rebel- I'm gonna wait for the major rebellion to win. Once the major rebellion wins, hopefully they're not going after me. I'm gonna move my soldiers actually over here so they don't get squished. Okay. As you guys can see, the rebels are really smart in this game. They just group up everywhere. Um, the Republican Guard apparently is conquering most of the uh, Brazilian land that they were trying to get from me. Uh, uh, natives in Argentina. Slice it up. Yeah. Uh, Republican Guard. Republican Guard. Okay, Jacobson Rebels just running amok in my country. I can't really stop it. I'm liberal regime. Thank you. Poor whatever. Thank you. Okay. Go squish these gosh damn rebels. Okay. Get my country underneath my control. Oh my goodness. Yeah, now I'm really starting to suffer. And now I'm really not in the top 50% prestige. Okay. Now... Now my country is losing people. Let's see, what do I have to change based on population, force? These are the exact laws, except for this. This is the exact same laws. Why did you just change my government, liberals? You just cost us like 50 years of heartache. Oh my goodness. Okay, so, yeah, yeah, this is... I'm laughing at this point because it's like, oh my goodness. Yeah, sorry, people. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Can we encourage capitalists now? Are the capitalists actually going to go to our country now? Because I don't think I don't think I don't think anyone's wanting I don't think any like immigrants are gonna come to our country for a little bit. So let's see if we can encourage some capitalists to start rising in our country. Yes! We can actually start encouraging capitalists. Okay, and we have no rebellions. Thank goodness. Okay, let's see. And no one is strong right now. Good. Okay, we can actually start rebuilding from here. Wow. Wow, what a turn of events. Does that mean- wait, does that still mean I still owe money? Still means I still owe money. And let's just stop supporting all this. Because we need to- We need to make some money so that we can, like, start sponsoring stuff. And... Let's see, yeah, if you guys want to go right there, that's fine. We need to start making tons and tons of money. Because we're going to have to start doing a lot of stuff. We're also going to start converting a lot of our lower class to start being 
more cap we're gonna need more capitalists in general so we can start like supporting a lot of our factories our public listed companies sure why not we I guess we're free um, can't build any factories yeah we're free economic country again <sighs> goodness that close people that close to being a great power we had it right there in our grasp but I got way too greedy and that's honestly what happens when you become way too greedy um, let's reopen some of our factories though so that we can start I just need we just need to start getting our economy back in order like seriously so we can start like making even more money there we go making a thousand a turn with no payments no nothing already 14 again wow we went to 14th second place already again without doing much and I'm basically ready to go to war with Chile to go gain some more stuff in fact what we might oh shoot please tell me this is not regarding me please tell me this is not regarding me this is not regarding me thank goodness thank you Jim thank you Greece for being the like hog of like the world in terms of like crises thank you thank you oh my goodness if that did not happen I'd probably be very very messed over right now okay um, right now we are basically expanding all the factories making sure they are, are underneath our control and keeping them all open to our interpretation basically so that we can oh wow okay so we finally no more loans that's good I, I th that probably means that most countries got a, a cause of belly against us but you know what I will take it <laughs> I know that sounds really mean, but I will take that over what we were just having in our country. But that, since that means if I'm taxing you guys less, I get more tariffs. Which really does stink, but it's the way it's gonna have to be. So get that up to here. I can. And then I support construction. There we go. Okay. Uh, trade. Okay. Okay. We're back on track, people. We're back on track. Our prestige is in the toilet, though. That's the only thing that's really kind of bugging me right now. Um, let's see, who's a, is anyone really prestigious right next to me? What we could do is, wow, you guys increased relationship with me very, very quickly. Um, what we could do is actually start fighting a war against Chile. And what I'm thinking is in this war, we're going to, pluralism, is we're going to take the region right over here, Pesol, like I said, violent elections. That's not good. <laughs> Take the region of soul. And let's see, we got a lot of different people. Yeah, we basically can't subsidize any of our factories, so now they're, they're kind of all collapsing because they don't have that backwards, you know. They don't have that support that they usually have. Which means we really gotta get, we really gotta get liberals out of power. The liberals were a terrible idea. I don't know why. Oh my goodness. I don't know why... Okay, so how we get liberals out of power? Okay, you know what? It doesn't really. Residency seems to be where. Wait, who is more po popular? The the Portal Fidel or they look about the same. <laughs> look about the same. I don't know which one to choose. Okay, but yeah, that was a major mis. Let's see how many. How further are they? The biggest 166. Okay. So let's see, our government right now, I'm just trying to calculate people how long it would take us to get back into great powerness. Okay, 140, 166, that's only like one war of conquest. And we basically have, okay. Let's go to war with Chile, conquer back all the land we lost, or all the land we supposedly lost. Take what we need, wait. I just saw this. Why don't we just... I can't even think of that. Okay. And we're gonna briefly, briefly, for a brief amount of time, increase all of our spending. Get these guys underneath our control. Once these guys are all underneath our control, then we basically have our Argentinian army ready for when we can actually go and go do more stuff. But for right now, we have to deal with the fact that our army's pretty weak. And we're basically just trying to survive right now in terms of what we're trying to do. 
Although our economy is like halfway going good and halfway going bad. There we go. We got the conservatives back in power. Good. Okay. Alright. Let's see. What's a crucial to our economy? Well, right now we're doing like 3% tariffs. So, do down to 1% one, 1 tariffs. So that we get more of that. More people. Yeah, there we go. More things are starting to make money again. Okay. I think I'm starting to save my economy. From a major economic collapse. Alright, you guys, go down. And let's conquer these last little bits of this region. And, because we do get diplomatic relations that we did get all these. Okay. That should increase our prestige right there. The Argentinians, yay! Okay, um, split out. Uh, we, we can keep them together, because that just, it's going to increase the prestige, the siege chance. And, oh. I just finish out this siege. Let's go conquer Melo. Mm hmm. Melo, Elo, 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 A, A. You guys know that song? I hope you do, because if you don't, I'd be, you know, kind of disappointed in you people. And let's see, we have. How much is our capitalistic. Our capitalists right now? I'm increasing them in like five of my top states. They're about a thousand. We need about ten thousand capitalists, or five thousand, roughly, to have a good, to have a good like capitalist movement. Let's get to the capital, siege up all this, so that we can finish off the last little bits of the army. Yeah, and now this is basically a part of my empire, for free, everyone, for free, without doing any kind of real hard work. Argentina integrated Uruguay into its population because we really didn't we really could have done it with an event But I kind of messed up so yeah, I keep bringing up my mistakes and I really should move past that But gosh dang was that a stupid mistake? Oi, I just went bankrupt again But I'm fighting back. I'm pretty sure I could get back from this More people are starting to immigrate to my land. So that's good. That means I'm doing something right and There we go Uruguay is now a part of our land. Huzzah! And let's see. Administration-wise, we have a pretty good amount of administration. Okay. We need to decrease this. Decrease this. Okay. And now we can set more higher taxes, too. And we have no loans. Which is quite important for us. No loans. Let's just chill and relax. And let's... Um... Yeah, some of these factories are actually just dragging us down, so... Uh, let's see, Jun Lei... I'm basically gonna have to go through every single... Oh, man. Now that the economy is now kind of recovering, I'm gonna have to go through every single one of these regions and see if it's good if I keep these factories or if it's bad if I keep them. Because I don't know anymore. So, Jun Lei... Let's see, what do you guys produce? You guys actually do produce a little bit of timber, so... Let's see, if I close you for like a day, if I reopen you guys, would that help you guys out? Yes! Yeah, okay, that, that completely like sent their, that, that's, okay, that recovered their economy, okay? So, what I'm gonna, I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to close all these very slowly and then reopen them. Like, yeah. Basically, close them, we open them, close them, we open them, close them, we open them, close them, we open them. That way, the money resets, and so everything becomes back to normal. It's a really weird trick in Victoria 2 that, that really should not work, but it does. Okay, we open that factory, so then these closed factories are getting what they need in production. Oh, you guys, okay, you guys should be getting fabric because we have a fabric, okay, prioritize this one. I'll even, I'll even put it under specialty. Special sanctions, I should say. Uh, research more important. Let's get that research tax efficiency. Let's see, cultivation theory, research theory. Let's get some more stuff into our men. And let's see, Chile. Decrease relationships with. Oh yeah, we're gonna fight. We're gonna totally fight Chile. Let's see. Let's see. With that, with this established, we should be able to start. Producing some stuff, and let's see. Hmm. Let's see.
Alright, people. I want to thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.